For each value of t below, determine the quadrant in which the terminal side of the angle is found, then find the measure of the corresponding reference angle, which we will call t bar. In the previous video, we looked at part A and part B. In this video, we will take a look at parts C and D, where we have t equals 11 pi over 6 radians and t equals 4 radians. So for t equals 11 pi over 6 radians, we begin by sketching the angle in standard position, which means we start along the positive x-axis and rotate 11 pi over 6 radians in the counterclockwise direction. If we needed to, we could convert 11 pi over 6 radians to degrees, which would give us 330 degrees. But let's practice working with radians. Notice 11 pi over 6 radians is less than 2 pi radians because 2 pi radians would be equal to 12 pi over 6 radians, which means you rotate pi over 6 radians short of one revolution. So this is the initial side of the angle in standard position. If we rotate 11 pi over 6 radians in the counterclockwise direction, then the terminal side of the angle is along this ray here. So this is the measurement of angle T. Notice how the terminal side is in quadrant four, which means we enter four for the quadrant. And now we need to find the reference angle, where the reference angle is the smallest angle that the terminal side of the given angle in center position forms with the x-axis. So this is the terminal side of the given angle. Notice how the smallest angle formed, notice how the smallest angle formed with the x-axis would be along the positive x-axis. So this is one side of the reference angle, and this is the second side of the reference angle. Looking at the graph, notice how this angle here, the measurement of angle T bar, would need to be pi over six radians, because 11 pi over six radians is pi over six radians short of one full revolution, which means T bar is equal to pi over six radians. If we wanted to find T bar, by performing a calculation, notice how we could take two pi radians, or one full revolution, and then subtract the measurement of angle T, which is 11 pi over six radians, which will leave us with the measurement of T bar, the reference angle. So we could say T bar is equal to two pi radians minus T, which gives us T bar equals two pi over one radians, minus 11 pi over 6 radians, and now we obtain a common denominator by multiplying the top and bottom of 2 pi over 1 by 6, which gives us t bar equals 12 pi over 6 radians minus 11 pi over 6 radians, which does give us t bar equals 1 pi over 6 radians, or just pi over 6 radians. Let's take a look at our second example. Here we're given that t is equal to four radians. So we know the terminal side is along the positive x-axis, and now we rotate four radians counterclockwise. If it's helpful, we could convert four pi radians to degrees, which gives us approximately 229.183118 degrees. But thinking of this in terms of radians, we know half of a revolution, or pi radians, is approximately 3.14 radians, and three pi over two radians is approximately 1.5 times 3.14, which is more than four, and therefore the terminal side of four radians would have to be in the third quadrant. So if we rotate four radians in the counterclockwise direction, then the terminal side of the angle would be approximately here. So here is the measurement of angle T. Notice how the terminal side is in quadrant three, and therefore we enter three for the quadrant. And now we need to determine the measurement of the reference angle, where one side of the reference angle is going to be along the terminal side of the given angle. And to form the smallest angle with the x-axis, the second side of the angle would be along the negative x-axis. So this angle here would be T bar. To determine the exact measurement of the reference angle, Notice how we could take the measurement of the given angle, which is t, and subtract pi radians, or one half of a revolution. That will leave us with the exact measurement of angle t bar, which would give us t bar equals 
the exact measurement of angle T minus pi radians, and therefore T bar is equal to four radians minus pi radians, and this will be the exact measurement of the reference angle given by T bar. But we are told to round to six decimal places, and therefore now we will need to go to the calculator. So we have T bar is approximately, we have four minus, on this calculator, the pi is here, notice how it's in blue, so we press second, and then the exponent key or the caret, and then enter. We're told to round to six decimal places, which means T bar is approximately 0 0.858407, because notice how the next digit is three, and therefore, we round down. So T bar is approximately 0 0.858407. This is what we enter for T bar. Before we go, here are some notes that can help determine the measurement of a reference angle when the given angle is between zero and two pi radians, or zero and 360 degrees. I hope you found this helpful.